All right, are you ready for this one? Because before famed physicist Stephen Hawking passed away, he published one last paper. And in this paper, it holds really the secrets to the universe. And I'm gonna break down how you can apply these into your life to bend reality and get what you want quicker, easier, and with far less effort. Because what you want is already here, according to Stephen Hawking. Big idea number one is that matter can be created out of invisible energy. Stephen Hawking said there are something like 10 million, 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 one with eight zeros after it, particles, in the region of the universe that we can actually observe. Where did they all come from? The answer, according to Hawking, is quantum theory. Particles can be created out of energy in the form of particle-antiparticle pairs. And that's big idea number one from Hawking, that particles, physical matter, can be created out of energy. And the key words there were particles can be created out of energy, in Hawking's own words. In a previous video, we actually discussed how scientists use Einstein's equals mc squared to do exactly that. They used pure energy to actually create new physical matter, just like Hawking suggested. So if invisible energy can create new physical particles of matter, then you can actually use it to turn energy from no thing into something. You can actually make your dreams that have yet to come, they are nowhere, they're not here, you can go from nowhere to now here when you understand what Hawking is teaching about how the universe actually works. This means that you can bring money into your life. This means that if you're struggling, you can manifest your goals, your desires, you can bring your ideal romantic relationship into your life, the perfect job into your life, anything in the material realm that doesn't exist because Hawking's saying it all comes from pure energy. And since, you and your thoughts and your consciousness are pure energy, it opens you up to a whole new universe. Now the question is, how does it actually occur? And Hawking says, quote, the holographic form of the wave function has led to a fruitful and promising application of holographic techniques. Now if you watch my videos, we've discussed the wave function and quantum theory at great lengths, but just to recap, it's the fact that subatomic particles are sometimes waves of pure energy outside of this dimension that we cannot see, and sometimes they're actually physical particles localized in space and time here and observable, and whether they manifest as invisible energy that we cannot see that doesn't exist, or physical particles is based on the consciousness that's actually observing them. And Hawking said that this wave particle function is the basis of holographic reality. He believed that reality was a hologram and all information was stored outside of this dimension in second dimension, but it is projected into third dimensional form. And he said that all potential information and energy already exists outside of this physical dimension. Then this energy moves into particles into third dimensional form. And this is the essence of his holographic belief. But it's like, what the heck is a hologram really? Right, I heard that they bid a big concert and they made Tupac into a hologram. But what the heck is a hologram in all actual reality. So the word hologram has Greek roots. Holos means whole and gramma means message. So in a hologram, if reality is a hologram, each piece contains the whole. So for example, 
you can make a photograph into a 3D hologram instead of just a two-dimensional picture by using a laser. And the difference is if you cut up a 2D picture, it's like a, it's like a puzzle and you gotta use your puzzle solving skills to piece it back together. But if you have a holographic uh, picture, every single one of those little tiny pieces that you cut up contains the entire whole. Now this is crazy because if Hawking is correct and reality is a hologram, that means every single subatomic particle, every single cell of your body, everything is connected to something else. You're already connected to what you want. It already exists just outside of this dimension. And Hawking is saying that through quantum theory and the wave particle function, you actually bring it into life. Now, there was another famed physicist who believed reality was a hologram, and he actually won a Nobel Prize. His name was David Bohm. And Bohm argued that the empty space in the universe contained the whole of everything. It was a hologram. Bohm believed that this realm of empty space and pure information is what paradoxically gave life and brought order to the physical world. And that's the exact same thing that Hawking said in his latest research paper, his last one, is that energy and information exist in a realm outside of third dimension. And Nobel Prize winner David Bohm actually had a term for that. When things move from the invisible state to the physical state, from the empty, invisible realm to the physical realm. And he called that movement the hollow movement. That's the movement from invisible realms of energy into physical form. Now, the hollow movement you can actually use to bring money into your life, to bring your love into your life, but it has to do with shutting off your five senses. When you shut off your five senses and you stop thinking at the level of your environment and you start thinking greater than your own environment, that's when you shift the wave particle function and you start to change the hologram and things actually then begin to shift in your life and you realize that you are the creator of your own reality. So I invite you to give this a try in your own life, to do a thought experiment. And I'm gonna break this down in a simple way that you can apply it into your life. So you can take your desire that is not here and bring it here into life from no thing to something. And there's three simple steps that you can actually start to use to make this a reality. And step number one is you must try on the idea that what you want but don't have is already real. It's an energy frequency or a vibration that you can tap into with your own thoughts. Step number two is to realize that everything is two things in the hologram. The future of your desire fulfilled exists in this invisible field of energy and the future you do not want already exists. They are both real frequency patterns. They're both real wavelengths of energy. And you tap into one or the other via your own consciousness, which collapses invisible energy into physical form. So you can want money or love or a job, but you can be constantly fixated on the fact that it isn't here. And that's what I used to do. I have a free success hypnosis. It's right there down below, jakeshypnosis.com. It's pinned to the comments and in the description. I suggest you use it because this is what changed my life because I was trying to build my career as an author and an entrepreneur. I knew what I wanted. I had a vision board, I visualized, I worked hard, but I was always focused on the fact that it wasn't happening and it wasn't happening. It was year and year a disappointment and I couldn't get ahead. And my thinking was getting controlled by my five senses that said, I am not successful, I am too young, I'm this, I'm that, I'm broke. So I started creating a success hypnosis for myself where I would disconnect from the third dimensional hologram and I would access higher possibilities that didn't exist. And I would practice 
visualizing, imagining them, entering the feelings of them, and getting excited about it. And my life started changing pretty damn quickly after that. I started having all these viral videos, then I got a TEDx talk, then Penguin Random House, the number one English publishing company in the world at 23 years old, signed me to a book deal. Like all this stuff started happening fast. And it wasn't that I started working harder, it was that my consciousness shifted. So you can check that out right there down below. It's jakeshypnosis.com and it'll help you to focus and enter the feeling of what you want as opposed to what you don't want. Because remember, everything is really two things, what you want and the absence of what you want. And this leads us to the final step in the cosmic holographic puzzle from Stephen Hawking. And he summed it up best when he said, quote, I have noticed that even people who claim everything is predetermined and that we can do nothing to change it, they look before they cross the road. What Hawking is saying is so beautiful. He's saying, look, even if you believe you don't have control over reality or you're one of the people that don't believe in free will and everything's predetermined, well, why the heck do you look before you cross the road? You have free will and you can create your own reality. Do a thought experiment. You don't have to believe me and you don't have to believe Stephen Hawking. Just test it in your own life and you will see your consciousness is so freaking powerful that you can alter every single aspect of your reality. Give it a try and see what happens next. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoy it, Be sure to get my free success hypnosis right there down below, pinned to the comments in the description. It's jakeshypnosis.com. Give me a comment down below that says I love this video. If you enjoy it, I think you're really gonna like this video here. You can click on it to watch now.